All right, so in this video, I am going to demonstrate how you can use uh, Screenomatic to record a video lecture to your computer. All right, so um, when you're ready to get started, you want to maybe go ahead and pull up your PowerPoint or whatever materials it is that you want to use during your video lecture. And then you're going to go to your web browser and you are going to log into Screenomatic. All right, so it's just screencastomatic.com. I'm going to click on that. Now I've already set up an account. Um, you can set up an account. Um, it took me like three seconds. Um, this is another easy to use free tool that we can use to record video lectures. Um, BSC does have some pro accounts if you want to get a little bit fancier and have some editing capabilities. Um, if you would like that access, just shoot us an email um, and we'll try to get that set up for you, okay? All right, but once you're logged in, um, then you're just going to click on the My Videos, which is going to kind of take you to your workspace, and you're going to select Start Recorder. When that happens, it's going to launch your recorder launcher, and you're just going to select Open Screen Recorder Launcher. Um, you may have a download that you need to do first, um, the first time you do it, but after that, it should um, be pretty quick. All right, so now Screencast. Amatic has gotten started. Um, what you'll notice is that what pops up is this little box. Anything inside the box is what will be recorded. Um, so you may want to change the size of your box depending on whether you want to record um, the entire size of your screen or just a piece of your screen. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my PowerPoint that I want to use for my lecture. And I'm going to go ahead and go to um, starting my PowerPoint. I'm going to make sure everything's inside my box that I want to be in the box and everything looks good. And then once I'm ready, I'm going to um, start recording. Now there's a couple things we can do. Um, we can record just the webcam if you just want to record you talking. Um, maybe you have something you want to show them um, or you just want to have a discussion. Um, or you can do both, which is kind of what you see right now. So you see I have a little picture down here at the bottom. Um, that's kind of how it would show up on Screenomatic or Screencast-O-Matic as well. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select Record. And it's going to give you a countdown. And you can start lecturing after that countdown. Um, since you're using PowerPoint, um, you can also use the interactivity of PowerPoint um, by selecting the pen or the laser pointer. Um, this is really super helpful to students. Um, and remember, they're not able to see you like they can in the classroom um, where you might point or use a mouse to sort of point things out. Um, so using sort of these interactivity or interactive tools um, that PowerPoint provides can be really helpful. Um, if you have a touch screen, you know, you can just use a stylus or your finger. Um, I don't have a touch screen here in the office, um, so I'm just using my mouse to sort of circle and highlight things as I go through the lecture. All right. Um, once I'm done with the lecture, I'm going to hit pause. Um, at this point, you could maybe bring up another PowerPoint or something else you want to discuss. Maybe you want to take the students to the Moodle page. You could pause, bring that up, and you could resume your lecture at that point. Okay, um, but I'm done, so I'm going to select Done. And you get a few options, save and upload, quick share, or edit video. Um, you have some editing tools here. Again, guys, we're just trying to keep it simple. So I recommend just record your lecture. Don't worry about trying to be perfect. Um, get it uploaded and get it to the students. All right, um, so in order to save it, I'm just going to click Save and Upload. And I'm going to save this video as a file. Um, I've tried uploading to YouTube, um, and it didn't really work that well for me to upload it directly, but I'm going to have another video um, where I can show you how to upload any video you make to YouTube and then embed it into Moodle. All right, so I'm just going to save it as a local file. Um, I can change the name of it, Screencast-O-Matic Demo. Um, I can tell it where to save it. Um, don't worry about captions right now. I'll show you how to turn captions on in YouTube. And then I'm going to publish. 
All right. Um, so depending on how long your video is, this could take a minute um, or 10 or 20. Um, so you may want to go get a cup of coffee, stretch your legs, answer some emails while this is sort of going on. <clears throat> All right, so once it's done, um, you can play back the video if you want. Um, I'm just gonna select done. It's gonna pop us out to screencast and say, hey, pay for us, right? Um, like I said, we do have um, some um, licenses at BSC that can get you sort of the premier access. Um, if you're trying to just record very simple lectures, um, the free access is very usable as well. Um, if you'd like the premier, um, just shoot us an email and we'll try to do the best we can to accommodate everybody. All right, um, so that's basically it. Um, you can go to your folder that you saved your video in just to make sure that it is there. There it is, there's our new video. All right, um, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how you can then upload this to YouTube and then embed it into your course Moodle page. All right, I will see you then.